proteins are made up of a large number of amino acids with this structure. They are called amino acids simply because they have an amino group and they have a carboxylic acid group. They also have a side chain which may be more or less variable. Amino acids can react together in a condensation reaction. In this, water is removed and a dipeptide is formed. The bond joining the two amino acids is a peptide bond. This process can be repeated for a large number of amino acids to form a polypeptide chain. This polypeptide chain is what we call the primary structure of the protein. Although the primary structure is linear, it soon twists and turns to produce a secondary structure. The secondary structures are held together only by hydrogen bonding. One of these is the alpha helix, and the other the beta pleated sheet. When there are variations in the side chain of the amino acid, other kinds of bond can appear. For example, sulfur-sulfur bonds and ionic bonds. This tertiary structure is particularly important when proteins are acting as enzymes, as the bonds which are present will form a more or less unique three-dimensional structure. This structure is only compatible with specific enzyme substrates. If there was more than one primary structure to begin with, then a quaternary structure results. We see this, for example, in haemoglobin. Transcription is the process by which a copy is made of the cell's DNA. The DNA molecule is, of course, a double helix. The two strands are held together by hydrogen bonds. When the cell requires it, the hydrogen bonds can be broken. As a result, the two strands are separated over some region of the DNA. Free nucleotides, which are present in the area, attach to complementary bases on one of the strands. The nucleotides are zipped together to make a molecule of messenger RNA. The messenger RNA migrates from the region of the DNA. Translation is the process by which the messenger RNA sequence of bases is transferred into an amino acid sequence. This occurs on particles called ribosomes which may be free or may be on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. The ribosomes are surrounded by transfer RNA molecules. Each of these carries a unique amino acid and each of them carries a unique base sequence for that amino acid. These base triplets are complementary to those on the messenger RNA. The ribosome takes the amino acid from the transfer RNA molecules. It stitches these together to make the primary structure of the protein and the empty transfer RNA molecules return to find more amino acids. The messenger RNA molecule is thought to be reused a number of times.